Okay, today I want to talk about participant management. I have some, I've had some really good questions about what do I do once I get students in this meeting? Is there anything I can do to control what they can and can't access and do and sound like and all that kind of stuff? So let's take a look at our options, uh, really kind of dive into some of the deeper features here and see what we can do to make your meetings even better. I'm going to start by uh, going to a meeting that I've already started. I started a meeting with a, a couple of students and you can see I've got three students in here right now and I see their webcams. Um, they are obviously ready to, to pay attention, maybe drink a little bit of coffee. Um, but let's let's look at some of the, the different things that we can do. So I am going to click on the, the participant button here. Uh, participants is this little person looking icon and it's gonna show me everyone that's currently in the meeting and you can see their names as they've entered it. And uh, there's a couple things that we can do here. Um, one, let's, let me take a step back here. Before these guys all joined, I made a setting change because I didn't want their microphones on. Uh, it, when you have a bunch of people join a meeting, it tends to get very noisy very quickly if you have the microphones on by default. So um, if you go to participant up in the menu, there's an option to say mute on entry. So that way everyone can join the meeting, but their microphones are going to be muted by default. That way you don't have to worry about some of that extra noise and all that kind of stuff. Um, they still have control to be able to unmute themselves, but at least you're, you're forcing them to have to do that rather than it being a noisy mess right at the beginning of the session. Um, if you want, you can unmute all uh, or you can unmute individually. So as you're talking, uh, you might say, hey, Gene, can you, can you tell me a little bit about what you learned today? Uh, you can over here hover on Jane's name and you can see that microphone is red and you can unmute her and then Jane can start talking. As she talks, her image is actually going to come full screen. I don't have anyone there to actually give me some audio, but hey, there, there's Jane. Um, she showed up, so um, now Jane's talking and when she's done talking, you can go in and mute her or she can mute herself when she's done. Um, you can do uh, an unmute of all right here as well if you right click on any of the usernames that are in the list uh, or you can unmute any individual person um, other things that you can do with individual users so by default you're the host you're the only one that, sh that can share content and if you'll recall you can share content by clicking on the share content button and then sharing your screen um, let's say that you've got a student that's working on a project and you want them to, sh to present to the rest of the class um, you can do that. You can right click on that user and change their role to presenter. You don't want to make them the host, then they'd be able to control everything here like you can. So they'd take control of all the microphones and everything else. But by making them pre the presenter, they can now click on this share content button. That's going to show up for them now on their side. And then they can share their screen and work through anything that you would like them to, to show us. Once they're done, you're going to want to take control back. So you want to click on your own name and change your role back to presenter. That'll take presentation mode away from Jane, gives it back to you, now you're back in control, you can share your content and you can go from there. Um, really, that's that's around it, around participants. Um, if you want, if you have an issue where you need to, to throw everyone out of the class, um, you can do that, you can select everybody um, and, and you can go down and expel them. Uh, if you want to end the session, obviously you can do that. But if you've got a couple students that are just being unruly, you want to get rid of them, you can expel them. You can also move them to the lobby. By moving a user to the lobby, uh, let me show you what that looks like. Move to lobby. Do you want to move them? Yes. So they're going to sit out in this waiting pattern. Um, if we were on, uh, I, I put John in the lobby. If we were on John's computer, he would see now you are waiting in the lobby. Uh, you will uh, have to wait for the manager of this session to let you back in. And that's all they're going to see. Um, so if you've got a couple that are kind of being, you know, you need them off to the side for a while, you can kick them out. And then once you're ready to bring them back in, you're going to see all of them up in this list and you can admit them back into the session. Then they can see everything that you got going on again. So the only other thing, and I believe I've mentioned this in a previous episode, um, you can chat with individual users or with all the users in the uh, in the meeting. Um, obviously, you're doing this over video and audio, so these feature, this feature probably you're not going to use as much. Um, but I'm going to click on the chat button here so I can bring it up. And by default, I'm chatting with everyone. Uh, and so if I send a message, everyone that's in this meeting is going to see that message. If I wanted to only talk with one or two students, I could do that. Um, 
Here, I'm going to chat with Jane so I can right click and chat with Jane. You'll see down here at the bottom, my two has changed to just Jane. So I can say, hello, Jane. She's the only one that's gonna see that message and you can see it listed here as a private message. So you don't have to worry about the rest of the class seeing that. And that conversation can happen back and forth between the two of you. Um, there's not a lot of other features here. Uh, the, the participant piece of this is pretty straightforward. If you have questions or, or any thoughts or ideas, things that you would like to see, give me a shout. I'd love to make any, any videos that would help you all. Uh, and stay safe out there, and I'll catch you next time.